Hey guys, I uh, hope everybody's doing well today. It's an absolutely beautiful day here in northern Georgia. The uh, sun's been shining for several days now after all the many, many days of rain we've had. And uh, man, we are so sure glad to see it. And the temperatures are getting warmed up now. And I uh, want to give you guys a quick uh, greenhouse and garden update. Uh, keep you posted on what's going on. And uh, as you can see behind me, uh, we're going to start off with these. <laughs> these wonderful determinate tomato plants. So, uh, so let's take a look around for a minute. Okay, guys, we're going to start off here with our um, <laughs> supposedly experimental determinant bush-type tomatoes. Uh, I'm not going to go down there and bother uh, renaming all these things again. I'm just going to give you guys a look at them. And as you can see, as compared to last time, there they were about a couple of weeks ago. And here they are now. Um, I think they've about probably reached their height. Um, is that, that they're going to be now and they're just uh, they're just concentrating right now on making their fruit and as you see we've got plenty of fruit and blooms <laughs> and anything you need and these things are really doing good but I tell you what guys these things are really thirsty they're taking a lot of nutrients and uh, they're really going through it uh, I said I'm going to try to do this as best I can for you guys so you can just kind of get a, a look at each one of them and um, in fact, I'm gonna move around here to the other side. Now, some of these guys, uh, uh, the uh, fruit's kind of buried into the foliage right there, so it's kind of hard for me to to get you in on some of that. But uh, believe me, they've all got plenty on them, and you can see all the blooms and, bl and blossoms on those things right there. Uh, these things are really really doing good they're just kind of crowding each other <laughs> but hey <laughs> uh, what can I say and our old faithfuls here guys there's the uh, Campari still so got still got some clusters on it um, thing just came back around just started back making again but still looking good those are some nice clusters on there guys um, as you see, the uh, the better boy here got fruit all over it. Uh, they're kind of they're kind of slowing down a little bit, guys. But I mean, you know, they owe no service. They've been in here for quite a long while, and you know, and if I if I had to guesstimate, the vines are probably about 24 feet long now. Uh, see if I can kind of get you a shot of them vines there on the floor, and they're they're backed up, coiled up, rounded up, going back around the corner again. Uh, <laughs> and you can see how far. Down there's your first bucket right there, and then you see a one, two, three, four, and up there in front of your fourth bucket <laughs> is where the first tomato plant begins. That's how far these things have been moved. But uh, anyway, there uh, the big beef here still got plenty on him. I'm getting ready for these things to start turning just any time now. I'm thinking, but uh, it has a nice cluster there. Nice clusters all the way up. Still putting on. But uh, starting to fizzle out, guys. I'm starting to see less and less blooms on them at the top, and uh, and uh, they're getting skinny. And uh, like I said, they owe no service. But I mean, you know, since they've been in here since about what last September, or something like that. So uh, that's going to about wrap it up for these things. And, and like I said, I have been very pleased with them all season long, and I'm growing them outside. So <laughs> we'll keep on from there. And uh, there's our cracky beds, all nice and cleaned up. You remember the last video, all the lettuce that uh, I had to harvest right there. I got it all harvested, cleaned up, put in freezer bags, and uh, we've been eating on it, and it's still been it's still enjoying it. It's been delicious, um, and waiting, looking forward to growing it again this fall. And for those of you who've been following the uh, cracky strawberries, uh, they, these things are just uh, they kind of kind of stop with with the fruit i mean there's a little bit of a few strawberries on there kind of you know and all but there's not not very many that uh, they just if you see though they've, they've took off into a growth spurt um just really beautiful healthy plants um so i guess it's their time to put on some more plant and then put on some more fruit but these things have done really great guys and y'all remember last week i showed you the um huge malpet eggplant and the mouse melon and there they are. You see how much they've grown since then. And I'm getting ready to, to put them in the pot size size. Now that the nights have uh, warmed up into the lower 60s, 
uh, they should do fine out there now. I was uh, we were having nights in the uh, mid to upper 40s and lower 50s and stuff like that. I was uh, I was kind of concerned about putting them outside because these plants really really like hot weather. But yeah, this is a nighttime temperature. They're warmed up, guys. Um, I'm, I can get these things outside safe, safely now and get them planted and uh, they should do good and I'm looking forward to seeing how the results are going to be on these. I uh, didn't have real good success with them in the greenhouse. Uh, as far as making fruit anyway, the plants did fine but they just didn't produce anything in here. So hopefully outside with the bees and the, and the good things out there, maybe they'll do better for us. And here's our pepper bed guys. Uh, these things are finally starting to kick in and grow a little bit too since the uh, daytime temperatures and nighttime temperatures have been getting warmer uh, pepper plants do not like cold weather um, and we've been we've been staying consistently in the 80s here uh, for about the last probably week or so and the nighttime temperatures like I say they warmed up as well so they're uh, they're doing fine I'm starting to get some fruit putting on there um, and they're, they're they're really they're loving this warmer temperature and uh, yeah, I think our beans are going to be good this year, guys. You know, last year I had a I had a problem with them, as y'all recall. But right now, as you can see, they're climbing the trellis already. And uh, y'all saw them last a couple of weeks ago when I videoed. You saw how small they were. Well, you look at them now, just a couple of weeks ago, and look at them, man. They are taking off. Uh, now I'm excited too. We 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 missed putting up beans last year because of the grubs, but uh, looking good. And uh, we'll move on down here to the cucumbers. Cucumbers uh, kind of were just sitting there. Uh, for the longest uh, like I say with the cool night temperatures you know cucumbers don't like cool night air either and they don't like cool daytime temperatures but uh, as you can see now they're getting their true sets of leaves on them and uh, won't be long they'll be on that trellis too won't be long we'll be picking cukes <laughs> and uh, onions are still doing fine uh, can't tell a whole lot about the growth of them right now I mean you know it's just that's not, it's not one of the things you really see a whole lot out of you know week after week but uh uh, they are growing they're doing fine so looking forward to those all right we'll move over here to our uh, outside tomato plants guys uh, as you can see right here these things have grown uh, quite a bit and uh, guys I want to tell you something these these things are just uh, they're just a picture of health uh, nice good fat stems the leaves are nice and and and, and st stiff uh, you know I kind of got the leathery aspect about them just real just real hardy you can tell they're real tough and these are the uh, these are the uh, brandy wines on the right here uh, looking real good guys I'm man I'm looking forward to these things and then uh, my Rutgers looking real good didn't get to grow in them last year uh, I did but I gave them away but anyway <laughs> y'all know the story though y'all been following the video um, and then the uh, Big Beef and Better Boy, all looking really good guys, starting to get some, some blooms on them, and uh, like I say, looking forward to it. Uh, then, uh, one thing I did not mention last video, I, I, I just showed you the bed and everything, but the, I, did, I did not show you the, I did plant another Campari. Uh, I may have mentioned it a couple of videos ago, but I did not mention it last video, but that's it right there. Uh, that I took a uh, sucker off of from inside the greenhouse in the hydroponic system and uh and it's you know we rooted it and it's growing out here now and looking really really good but uh nice guys man i am so glad to see this weather okay guys that's going to about wrap it up uh hope you guys enjoyed it uh please feel free to comment ask questions uh give us a thumbs up uh, and I hope all you guys, I, I've been enjoying a lot of good videos here, guys. Y'all putting together some good ones and seeing some beautiful things growing out there. Y'all keep up the good work. And, uh, and until next time, may God bless you. And we'll see you next time.